It almost sounds like the natural end game for you guys is that Photoshop, sorry, not Photoshop, Adobe, or some of those big, big tech companies, you guys become so annoying to them because more and more people create AR experiences mm. that they will just say, ah, screw it, let's just buy them. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> is that the end game for Hololink at some point? I don't know. Because right, right it could be a game changer. You could be driving this that will, you know, sort of take away market share or at least attention from Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and, and all these different tools that you need, you know, to create engaging experiences online. Yeah. Digitally. Yeah. So I could see yourself join forces with like Adobe, Unity, right. uh, in Google, like any of those large tech companies that has the muscles and the reach to make this truly global. Right. But then you also see a company like Canva who is still independent, mm. who is competing neck and shoulders with Adobe. Right. And um, like, I don't know what's going to be the best strategy no. for us in, in, in that future. But right now we're just focused on building a tool that that is perfectly for the task mm. uh, for for agencies and mm. educators right. around the world time will tell time will tell <laughs> so what extent <laughs>